Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of Grumpy Gamer Guys GB. We're playing the Pewter's Galacticraft again, and I've been busy getting the place all set up so we can get onto the exciting stuff. That's right, we get to make all the cool machines, funky bits and pieces, but what I thought I'd do today is I'd give you a quick tour, very, very quick tour, of just what we've done in preparation. Okie dokie, let's have a look around. Sinzaran has been very busy getting all this sorted over here and finishing off the wall, which is rather nifty. Nice and defensive now. We don't get attacked by as many zombies or skeletons at night. Over here, he found a single potato and in the course of an evening managed to turn it from one potato into a whole pile of them. So that's more food, very handy. And he's tidied up this as well. Round the back, if we have a look round here, we have an army of sheep. So we put plenty of wool. As you can see, we cleverly named it Sheeps. Yes, very high tech. And this is the big thing. This is the start of the industrial factory. We built this most of last yesterday evening, myself, with the help of Sinzaran on a few bits, and my friend Torpo, who's also online with us today. Oh, stupid door, always. There we are, there's Torpo. He's uh, AFK at the moment. We've got an influx of far too much. As you can see, we've got a bit of a pipe system here, and we've got a creeper outside that wants to kill us. Um, but the main thing is, if you have a look at this chest, we've got plenty of ore, so we, we can make all the cool stuff. Loads of dirt in there. Dirt's always handy. And that's supposed to be where the gravel goes, but we had to overflow some of the cobblestone because there's that much of it. Now, if we just pop up to the roof, it might be safer with there being a creeper out there. That's what we made. We made a big ass quarry. That quarry's doing all the mine for us. We set it from the highest point we could so that we could get as much ore as possible. And we made it so it was just big enough to try and dig out a big hole in the centre of the mountain. Now, I will L88 show everybody how to make a quarry. Because they're always handy things to have, especially with the piping. Now, we did cheap out. We used cobblestone piping and we've put the odd bit of gold in to speed things up. But to be honest, the gold hasn't really speeded up that much. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, get up to the top and show you how deep down it's looking at the moment. It's a bit scary when you get there. It's a long way down. I've jumped down a couple of times and swum up, but it's not fun. And as you can see, we've also got a world anchor here. We used the little bit of lava that was behind the base and made some obsidian, which we then mined and made the world anchor. We also had to work as teams and uh, cut down a couple of endermen just to get an ender pearl so we could do it properly. Again, I'll go through how to make those. Um, either in a later video or I'll tack it on to the end of this video, I haven't decided yet. Whilst we're up here, I'll just give you a quick uh, idea of what's around us. We've got a massive desert over there with some nice little oil patches which is going to help us with fueling the rocket later on. Over there we've got a nice little jungle biome. We've got a nice little winter biome over there. A normal kind of uh, temperate biome over there, whatever you want to call it. Some fancy name. And over there, there's more sand beyond all that. Now, at the moment, we're at level 114 up here. That's why I decided to set the mine up. That means there's 114 or so levels of mining to go through. And the really cool thing is once we're done with this, we can dismantle all this and start again somewhere else. Now, I would start on that hill over there, except for Topo, who's been building a little secret underground base over there. He's been doing some bits and pieces. The best thing about sharing a server with folk, you can do some random stuff, but we are going to all do a nice little trip into the nether to make it a bit safer. I say safer. We're probably all going to die a miserable death chasing blaze rods because we need them for quite a few recipes. We need that blaze powder, but we'll do it as a group and it'll be fun and we'll record it. These are annoying. Zombies and skeletons in armour. They survive through the day. And I can't even hit him. Oh, there we are. Knocked him down. Oh, I'm hungry again. All this exploring. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just get myself over somewhere safe and uh, we'll go on to show you the first couple of machines that we want to get out of the way. The first thing we want to do is we want to get a turbine 
and we also want to get a compressor going so we can get some really cool materials out of it and actually make all the really funky stuff. Um, other things we need to do is we need to get some carbon manufacturing going on. Carbon's important. And uh, just a few other bits and pieces. Actually looking over there, it looks like people have been replanting the forest that I chopped down the other day. That's probably uh, Sinzarin, he's probably been up to that. Uh, I did go on a bit of a spree chopping down all the trees around us, so he's uh, being pro-green and uh, planted a few more for us. Okay folks, to make some of the kit that we need to get ourselves into space, we need steel. Now steel is very important and it has to be created and it's part of the reason I made this metallic infuser. Now I've just been fizzling around with it for absolutely ages, wondering why it wouldn't make what I needed it to make. Now the problem is, it's been making enriched alloy every time I've put a bit of iron ingot in it. And for those of you that know this mod, you probably know exactly what I was doing wrong. And it took me ages, but I finally figured it out. Now in here, I put redstone in, and it was infusing redstone into the alloy, which was making the enriched alloy. It makes sense now, but at the time it didn't make sense in my head. So I had to go in, I had to get rid of everything that was in there, I had to go back had to drop in some compressed carbon. The compressed carbon's now filled this up with grey and then what I needed to do was I needed to put an iron ingot in there, turn it on. Why aren't you working? Typical. It doesn't like back. me. What I've done was I've stupidly turned Changed the input method, so I've changed it to strict input. Click this puppy back on, and here we go. Our iron ingot turns into what? Our iron ingot doesn't love us. Let's go back in here. I can't. Oh, there we are. Change it to off. So that's not working. So we're going there. Change it to on. But now I haven't got enough. Probably really straightforward, and I'm probably wasting time doing this. Uh, hey folks, we'll give this another try. What I've done is I've ripped that off the wall because it was annoying the crap out of me. So I'll put some compressed carbon in there, get that nice and filled up. Put an iron ingot in there, see if I can get it to work. Just using the power. And fusing carbon into the iron ingot. And we have enriched iron, which we then put back in. As you can see, I already got one from when I was testing it off screen. And to cut a long story short, that gets fired along and we get some steel dust. So pop that back in whilst we go and have a look over here. Right, what I need to do is I need to get some wood. Pinching out plank for now. Because oh actually we've got coal on me. Pop some coal in there, pop some steel dust, and finally we get some steel pig and ingots. Been waiting for these steel ingots for some time because they get to make the amazing bits of kit that I need for various bits and pieces. There's lots of really cool stuff. Um, let's see. So we've got a crusher, which if you have a look here, crusher needs a steel casing, steel casing needs steel, and that. Oh, the crusher, if we just do a shift in them, allows you to crush ingots into the dust count parts as well as before many other operations. Well, we need dust, it's just a, an integral part, it's not essential, but it is important. Now if I just flick through this as well, to some of the other bits and pieces that we need in the game. There's loads and loads of really cool stuff in this mod. Loads of really funky stuff. 
one of the things I wanted to be able to make is uh, solar panels because they're pretty good at bringing in the old power you for various bits of kit all this really funky stuff, oxygen loaders which we're going to need, electric compressors we also want to try and get some more more ore for our, our bang or bang for our ore, whatever you want to put that I'm just going to have a look through here, we've got a, that's the enrichment chamber that's the one we want to make it next now in enrichment chamber we can make control circuits, that's not a problem I'll just type it in here so it's easier to find ooh, it doesn't like me there we are enrichment chamber. So we know to make them, we've got plenty of them. We need to make a steel casing which is four steel ingots and an osmium ingot. So what we need to do is we need to go back to this, we need to take the steel dust out, we need to put an iron ore in, wait for it to compress. Take that out, put it back in. Let it compress using its jiggery pokery magical who's you what's it. It's not working anymore. Ah, it's low on power, that's fine. We can leave that doing that. Whilst we do that, we'll shove that in there and we might as well get another steel made. While we'll looking here, see if we've got some osmium ingots. We probably have at least one. That's cool. Also up here in the enrichment chamber, like I said, we need some more of these, some rich alloy and redstone. We need two of them, so that's very fortunate. We've got two of them sitting there as well. Pow! Control circuits. What else do we need? We need four more of them, two more rich uh two more redstone. So dun 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 Oh, uh, we got 12 of them. Uh, we, we've got no shortage of them. So we run all the way over here and go to the right one. Pop that there, pop that in. Do, 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 do. Wait for that to complete. Get the steel ingot. And we will oop We'll finally get this puppy made. Steel ingot's been the bane of my life since the start. Trying to figure out how to make the little bloody things. Right, let's see if my memory is better than it's been for some time. Do do almost, almost. Hey, I've done that wrong already. But, good thing is I've remembered it. And we have got an enrichment chamber. Ooh. Okay, we're back down here because I've got all the parts down here for making the wind turbine. As you can see, I've got them all in here in the chest called wind turbine. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take these bits and pieces out. These three here. And we'll put them in the crafting table so you can see what gets made for them. I'm a bit slow at this. Not, there we are. Control chip. Control chip is very important. We need that. Now then, we need this as well. So what I'm going to do is redstone gold. Do 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 do. do. Oop, wrong one. I'm having a good day of it again already. Just like the first episode, but you know, that's how this thing works. Right. Uh, gold. Do 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 do. There we go. Two of them. Excellenty. Right, and we need these osmium ingots and the enriched alloy. We'll get that dumped up here. Do 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 do. Right. Pop it all in. Oh, and wonder what the hell's going on because I know what's wrong. I'm ahead of myself. What I need to do is I need to pop that there, I need to pop that there, I need to pop that there, and there we have a wind turbine. 
do 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 and we'll finally make a use of that lovely turbine that's running on top of the factory if I can actually make it up the hill in one piece do 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 hey uh, open the door right drop the puppy there is it getting power? probably I'm not entirely sure but I'm gonna go over here nope not gonna go over there I'm gonna go over here gonna grab some gold everybody likes gold Oop, I've been thrown some meat by Torpo wait is it on? is it on? uh oh what am I doing? This should be working. I have had this tested. Okay folks, welcome back. Now, I've been fiddling around with this turbine. It has been the bane of my life, my existence. I'm trying to get this working. I figured out what was wrong. Apparently, even though it's on top of this lovely, lovely roof, the hills around it were stopping the wind supply. So, what I did was I made a massive tower, using some ladders to get up to it, dumped it at the top, you can see it's spinning around quite nicely. I also changed the cable I'm using to Universal Cable, which is now nicely spinning down here, and as you can see, it's filling up the green bars on the devices. So what we're going to do is we've got a metallurgic infuser, now theoretically I might put a little bit of redstone in there, Turn that sucker on. It's going to draw off some of the power. It's barely even dropping down at all, as you can see. That's, that, it's going to make this a lot faster. It's going to be great, and that's our enriched alloy. Right, the enrichment chamber. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I believe I put one of them in there, and I will get two dust out of it. So let's just see what's happening with this. There we go, to dust. And if we run along to the furnace, shove in said dust, we end up with two bars for the price of one. Excellent! So we've finally got the turbine. Now, this one, I did some reading up on it. It's a universal cable, will allow us to use different power supplies. So when you get it in watts or you get it in joules, it will run both, which means that will become invaluable. As you can see, I'm going to put these under the ground so it looks a bit tidier. I'm going to have all the devices along the edge. Try and keep up, maybe even do a, a sort of L-shaped square here of all the devices, keep them nice and close together. I, as you can see, the mine up there is still ticking along. I may even try running a power supply from one of them. Could be quite fun. Got lots of cool stuff in here. Must have killed a couple of beasties along the way. Even got some uranium. Still no diamonds, but I've got some diamonds, so that's not too bad. So yeah, everything's looking good. Thank you very much for joining us again for our second episode. I know it was been lots of mistakes and various other bits and pieces, but we're only just starting off. We're starting with Minecraft, and then we're going to go on and try a couple other games as well. If you're interested in any, just give us a show what sort of games you like to see. And um, we're also going to do some tabletop games and board games and stuff like that as well, because it's not all computer games. Uh, play some uh, tabletop games such as uh, Warhammer, Warhammer 40,000, maybe a bit of War Machine, uh, a bit of Drop Zone Commander, stuff like that. Just whatever people are interested in. We'll also play uh, board games, various other Cthulhu type games, uh, Munchkin, all the really cool stuff. Well, thanks for it. Uh, viewing us and uh, if you like this please comment tell us what you think let us know exactly what's uh, what you'd like to see in the series and if you did enjoy it hit a like and throw a subscribe and we'll make sure you get plenty of updates of extra videos okay guys thanks for watching bye bye for now